Okay, here we have um, a bioresonance generator that I uh, built. It um, was created by an inventor named Gerard Marin. Uh, it's from Canada. And uh, its original intent, I believe, was to attempt to create an overunity machine. Um, but actually, I uh, discovered that it created um, a high voltage, high frequency bioresonance field. So I'm going to demonstrate that next um, after I describe the circuit. So here we just have a, um, a power supply. They have it hooked up to a transformer because um, we're here in the Philippines. We have two 220 volt lines, so we need to step that down to 110 volts AC for this power supply. And that's feeding into this. This drives a 24 volt DC motor which is coupled to an evacuation pump, which serves as a generator. And that goes into a high voltage um, transformer and goes through um, this sodium lamp and through this incandescent lamp and through three spark gaps. Uh, it's made from tungsten rod, you can see the gaps. And then it goes through um, this pancake coil and then back to the transformer. So I'll demonstrate that next. Also, I'm going to show how you can um, bypass the um, spark gaps and get some plasma to jump between the two electrodes here. Turn off the light. Turn up our voltage until we start to get some spinning here on the DC motor. Okay, it's spinning. And you'll see that the lamp will start to light up first before the spark gaps start to fire. See that we're at 6.37 volts, 2.64 amps. Going to add sparks starting to jump here. The spark gaps. Now we're getting considerable energy out of this thing. I put my foot on this pancake ball, which will have the this resonance field will travel through my body, and you can see the effect of it through this light bulb too. So you see there's plasma inside of this light bulb, and I can feel the energy flowing through here. You can turn it up a little bit more. You can see that. Okay, next we'll try getting a spark to jump with plasma to jump right here. See it actually when the, the sparks jump through this lead, it has an, it interferes with the spark gaps and the energy is flowing through here instead of the spark gaps. And that's it. I think we just lost the coupling right here. Turn it off. And that's my demonstration. Thank you for watching.